Today we're playing F1 2003, but it's 20 years later. Look, if this doesn't make you feel old, I don't know what will. Or maybe you just weren't born yet. Such a simple menu, single player, multiplayer options, and then, oh, the, the old school memory card from the PS, do you remember these memory cards from the PS2 days? You had to like blow into them to blow the dust out when they didn't work properly. Rewards, spectate, spectator? There's a spectator section. Do I just get to watch some racing? First of all, I want to just delve into some single player. Let's just do a, let's just do a normal race. So this was Formula One game graphics 20 years ago. I don't think it's that bad to be fair. I mean, you can what you can make out every single team here. Williams, oh, that M West McLaren was awesome. The classic blue and yellow, Renault, Sauber, Jordan, Jaguar, VAR, Honda, Minardi, um, and Toyota. Oh, there's some, there's some old school throwbacks here. Michael Schumacher and Rubens Barrichello. And even here, they've got the big nose on show. I think with these older games, it's harder to really distinguish drivers in terms of faces. I mean, they've done pretty well, though. I mean, that does actually really look like Ralph Schumacher. You can tell the difference to Juan Pablo Montoya. David Coulthard versus Raikkonen. Okay, that doesn't look like Raikkonen whatsoever. That, that's just Ralph Schumacher's face. Warped a little bit. Oh, no, true. <laughs> Yano truly. I don't know what to eat. I don't know what it is. He kind of looks like a bit of a meme. And that's just simply not Fernando Alonso. That that's like that's a generic face from like FIFA. Mark Webber here in 2003. I mean, we saw Mark Webber in the 2013 video I did last week. So he's still knocking about here, as well as our man Jensen Button in the BAR Honda. So some of these guys, they've lasted. They've lasted a whole, like, ten, further ten years back. Oh, Joss Verstappen, the dad. Forget about Max Verstappen. We go back 20 years, you got his father. Look at him. He is ready to leave his kid at a petrol station. We drove his Fernando in last week's video on F1 2013, so why don't we continue driving with Alonso here in 03? Right, what uh, tracks we got? We got... Hockenheim, Hungary, Italy, US. Oh, the Indi Oh, this is Indi that's the indie circuit, of course, before the infamous, uh, really embarrassing Grand Prix that saw us not go to the US for a while. Suzuka, Australia, Malaysia, Brazil, Imola, Spain, Austria, Monaco, Canada, European Grand Prix, Nurburgring. So they had both both the German tracks in here in the game in the season french grand prix and then silverstone and then we're back to where we were right i fancy you know what for the sake of like you know seeing what it was like a further 10 years why don't we do nurburgring just to kind of see and you can compare it to last week's video all right loading in oh what a what a loading screen it's uh, a little bit more basic than uh, what we had in F1 2013. I hope the controls are very intuitive. I didn't bother looking at anything about the control. All right, here we go. Oh, and I zoomed in shot of five red lights and we are underway. Oh my God, that is sensitive steering to say the least. I'm just moving my joystick a tiny bit and the car's going everywhere. Oh my God. Sorry, sorry. Big dive bomb into turn one, three wide. We took someone out whilst we did it. This is chaos. I can't keep up with it. It's coming at me so quickly. And this, oh, this steering, it's too sensitive. What went on? Are you telling me kids in the 03 were able to drive this with some sort of decency? Right, let's uh, try and make up some positions. Am I clicking brake in the right way? That brake, right? I'm clicking square to brake. I'm sure that must be brake. I don't know what any of the other buttons do um, as we go down the inside. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Some good racing here. The Jordan comes back at us. We go down the inside of the Jaguar. I have no idea who they are because we've got no heads up display to tell us or anything like that. I, I just know simply I'm up into P9 which is pretty darn good. Right left hander. Uh, nice little dip. They've actually got the elevation pretty pretty decent actually for 03. 
you get a sense of the lift and uh, troughs of the circuit as we now come towards the chicken. And we go down the inside of the Sauber. Woo! Close stuff. That chicane is so much wider than it was on, 20, uh, on F1 2013. Round the outside, unlike in 2013, though. I nail the throttle on the exit. What a switchback. What a move. And we're up into P8. We're making fantastic progress. I think Schumacher, though, is the one in the lead. Shock horror. This must be Barrichello, I assume. Or maybe this is Schumacher. I really can't. I would like some uh, name icons. That would be really useful. As we're now side by side with the McLaren West. And I'm, as I'm going through, I'm getting used to the sensitive steering. Oh, and we made a dive on the Ferrari. I'm getting used to it. I'm get What's the score on the right? I want to know that. And that... <laughs> That helicopter on standby, that was brilliant. Right, what is this score? What, what, do I get anything for this score? Like, oh, maybe it's the rewards we saw in the main menu, possibly. As we're now around the outside of our teammate and now on the Williams BMW power. Couldn't quite do it, but we've got a lap and a half left to go. Flat out through here, nail that apex, nail that one too. I'm actually low-key better at this than F1... 2013 maybe we're up into the top five i think we can definitely get a podium here today as we close up again gonna try and go for that dive bomb at the chicane slow it down oh nailed it i am a driving god okay i've you know i've decided we need to do f1 esports on f1 2003 just get a load of ps2 lands going and i will be mullering everyone right i think that was schumacher behind us then because it looks like the the left hand side shows who's directly ahead of us as we cross the line so we just got Coulthard this must be Montoya and then ahead of us must be Barrichello then I guess I don't know as we go on the outside oh wheel to wheel no it's gone wrong where's where's the Williams where is he I can't I can hear him I don't know where he is ah oh, ah oh. also I've just realized the bottom left is that our damage am I close to being absolutely buggered in this race is there a camera check oh that's look backward that is a real... Ah! No! One tap of the grass and we're out! It's got more realistic physics than F122. One tap of the, the grass and we are spun round. We're still on for a podium, but can we get the P2? I just found it very comical. That was the look. We're on board on a T cam, but the look back button shows us our whole car. Right, here we go. Gaining, gain. You know what? Why don't we look backwards whilst we overtake him for style? On the inside. Let's go. Oh, where is he? Yes, yes. Keep going. Oh, no. Oh, I've got a bit of smoke. No, no, no. We've got my. I was too busy. I was too busy looking at the cat. And my engine is. And my engine's going. My engine's going. Great. Lovely stuff. It was Barrichello in P1 then. This is a very unrealistic game. When is a Barrichello ever allowed to come P1? Surely they would have got called Schumacher to get P1. Come on now. But I'm pretty sure this is like TV star graphics, you know, for the standing. So very one-to-one. -one. Not bad. Is there a replay? Enter my name. Okay. I mean, we were playing as Alonso. So what does it matter? AA. For what? Who's Tom, Lisa, MPH, Vanessa, J, GI, Stevie, Johnny with a Y... Who are these top 10? I'm so bemused. What was that? Oh, we've got replay cameras. In 2003, they had replay cameras. Color me impressed. Oh, look at it. <laughs> that was the, uh, that erratic steer. Look at how badly I did at the start with that erratic steering. My God. Oh, my God. You can change who you're watching. You can change who you're watching. No. So you're telling me in 2003... A game 10 years older than F1 2013, you could switch to who you were watching on the replays. But in F1 2013, you're stuck with who you drove as. You couldn't switch um, cameras and put, like who you're watching in replay cameras on the Codemasters games until about F1 2016, I want to say, I think it was. 2016 or 2017 even. That is mad. Yeah, years ahead of its time, this was. And we've got a different camera. Oh, look at this. Different camera angles and everything. This is unreal. Oh, look at this one. This actually looks graphically quite good. This actually really gives a good view of the elevation in this virtual world. We've got 
you know, it is very pixelated, but look at that, like, little, you know, little uh, climb up the crest, then the dip down. We're on to a second race now. I'm going to drive a Schumacher, but look at this. They had a grid setup. You can't do this even on F123, the new game coming out. Where is this? This is so simple as well to implement. Look, I just push myself to the back, and then I can, I think, select other players, can I? Or just put where, put, I, just, I can just at least put where, where I want to be. At least that's something. Unbelievable stuff. This, uh, this 2003 game, it can, it can teach the modern F1 games a thing or two. We're going full simulation, people. This is cockpit cam in F1 2003. Right, Schumacher in the Ferrari at Indy. It's a good start for us. And this is really not that bad, actually. I'm quite impressed, actually, by the fact this has cockpit camera. And it looks this all right. I mean, it's a little bit hard to see what's going on in the distance in the upcoming corners. But well and truly, what's around you directly ahead of the front wing, I can see pretty damn good. If anything, the graphics are better in the cockpit cam. Like, look when I get close up to a car, their rear wing comes into focus really well. It would help if I knew where I was going. I'm just trying to remember. Oh! Okay, there's been an absolute terrorism attack there for me. I apologize. I can't remember which way this circuit goes. Right, right-hander, then straight. Okay, then there's a... Okay, I remember this tight section. is very tricky. And then you slingshot onto the oval. Oh, dear. My consistent drop. I'm consistently taking people out, mate, but thank you. Right, it's the run to the oval, isn't it? No, no! Where is the... Oh, okay, there's really hardly any elevation to this oval. Good. Now, as you would imagine with a 2003 game, that is actually kind of it. That's where the gameplay ends. You can just do races, uh, and that's pretty much it. You can do arcade race, or you can do a similar race in arcade season, where it's a load of arcade races. Custom race, where you can set more laps, basically. A maximum of nine, apparently. A race weekend's the same thing, but you just do a whole weekend with quali. World Championship, the career mode, I guess, is is just you just do the races combined and they keep the points tally. Pretty much the same as arcade season, if you ask me. And then time attack. Uh, and then that's it. And then I guess you can do, yeah, split screen and custom races. Hot C. I don't know what that is. And then time attack again. But that is it. That's really all to see from F1 2003. Once you play one race, you kind of know the whole game and what you're getting into, basically. But it is nice to take a trip down memory lane and go 10 further years in the park. 20 years. 20 years mad to think but guys if you have enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button let me know what you thought in the comments below and you're around here then do get subscribed for weekly formula on content i'll see you guys next time goodbye